Hi guys, welcome back to another Scrap Lift Saturday. Hopefully you're having a great day. This is the inspiration piece and this is the scrap lift that I am doing. It is by Paige Evans and she did this for Studio Calico and I was just very, very, very inspired by the die cut elements from the inspiration, not the inspiration piece, but the um, scrap lift. And then I'm very inspired by like the florals and things like that from the inspiration piece. The colors are a slightly different um, on my page in the inspiration piece, but I kind of took more of the organic feel. Um, so I ended up using this Woodland Park paper from October Afternoon, which is to die for. I absolutely, absolutely love October Afternoon, and this collection is my absolute favorite. I love everything about it, the florals, the animal and woodland creature motifs and all that. It's just fantastic. So what I basically did off camera was I ended up cutting out that background piece and I pretty much cut out maybe a little bit more than three quarters of the page and it didn't cut quite straight so I had to piece it together a little bit. You kind of saw some washi tape and things on the back of it when I was gluing it down. But essentially that's kind of what I did and that kind of mimicked the same that Paige had did in her layout. So now I am just mounting these two photos and they're actually the same photo of my daughter and they are square photos that I'm mounting on that kind of cream and pinkish floral background. And then I'm just gonna be putting them um, to either side of each other and kind of staggered. And I kind of like this look. Normally I wouldn't use two of the same photo on a page, but I just really, really like this photo and I had them both printed so I thought, ah, why not? Why not try to do something a little bit different this may be the first time I've ever used two photos at the same time of the same uh, picture. So anyway, I really liked it and I thought I would go with it because, you know, something different. Um, Paige's layout did not have the same photo. I believe there are two separate photos of a little girl. I'm guessing maybe her daughter or something. So this is some of the die cuts that I'm going through from the Woodland Park collection. And I'm just gonna be putting out a various um, items from here. I'm just going to be flipping through all the different looks and then just trying to figure out what I'm gonna use and what I like the best. And so I'm gonna be playing a lot with trying to determine kind of the layers and such with this. These are little, uh, maybe little bow tie type things that I just, that came in this little die cut piece and I just punched out the little green one. I like that one the best. And then later on that button, I am going to add some twine through that, so you'll see that in a little bit. These are some little kind of medallion, kind of floral pieces that I thought were really neat. And I just wanted to bring some more color to the layout. Um, the background is kind of a black and white polka dot, and the other piece of paper is kind of like a tone-on-tone -tone, um, paper that kind of looks or has the feel of maybe a solid cardstock or a solid pattern paper on the front. So I kind of wanted to bring in some bright color. Her little outfit that she's wearing has a little puppy dog on it and it's got this little pink tulle skirt. And so I thought it would be fun to add more color to the layout. And with these little medallion floral type pieces, I thought that would be a good way to do that. That little circle that I just put down had little bunny butts on it and it was adorable. That was a little wood, or not wooden, um, a little banner with a word on it. I had that heart on the right hand side and like I said, I'm just kind of flipping this around and I'm actually going to take the heart off and I'm going to replace it with a butterfly, I think. I think I end up not using the heart at all and just sticking with the butterfly and it's going to be that pink and cream polka dot butterfly I believe I end up using. I think. Or I'd actually use a pink one up at the top left, so that might be what I'm thinking of. So I'm just going to fiddle with these layers until I'm happy with the way it looks. And I'm really mimicking how Paige did her layout where the photos are towards the bottom of the page and trying to keep with that same feel. Here I am just gluing down these butterfly wings and I'm using these Stamp It Up Dimensionals just to pop the wings off the page a bit. And I like how that looks. Pretty much I always do that when I have butterflies because it just feels like they should be flying. So now I fast forward just a little bit so you didn't have to watch me glue it all down. But now I am going to start threading with this hemp twine that I've had in my stash. I believe it's from Maya Road. And I am just going to sew kind of the stitching in the button to make it look like it's sewed down. And then I'm actually going to leave the tails of the hemp showing to add some more texture and things. And I'm actually going to roll up or lasso up some of the twine in a little bit here to add it other places in the layout. Kind of to bring that texture around the page a little bit. So I am just fiddling with the sewing here and 
it was getting a little frayed on the end so I trimmed them off a little bit just so they would sew a little better and then I am just going to now glue it down with I believe some glue dots that's usually what I use on these buttons it seems like those are the best things that hold down these little bits of a heavier element I guess so now I am just going to trim off that little extra loopy thing that I couldn't get undone and then oh no I'm actually going to use my Stampin' Up Dimensionals this might be when I didn't have any of my glue dots left I can't quite remember I did have a I did have some that I were missing and I couldn't find them so I may have just used the Stampin' Up Dimensionals instead so that one went down and I am going to be gluing that little bow tie on top of the button and then there's that hemp twine I really like it because it's a really really thin twine but it has a lot of texture because it's that hemp kind of look or kind of maybe not jute but really more like hemp it's very fine and but it still has a lot of texture but it's not real bold because it's a very neutral color and I really like how that looks so I'm just gonna glue a little loopy loop of that over here again just tying that texture from the left hand side of the page over to the right trimming off some excess and then I'm gonna work on the top left cluster which is going to be this little sticker butterfly and I'm also gonna make him look like he's flying by adding some pop dots and I'm looking through the sticker sheets trying to figure out what else I can use in this top cluster and I'm gonna end up going with this strip I'm not sure yeah I go with this strip here and it says the only perfect life is the one that you live and I thought that was pretty fitting and here I'm adding those Stampin' Up Dimensionals to the little wings and I'm actually going to put some liquid glue I believe in the center of the butterfly and I'm just taking off the sticky using my powder tool because I didn't want the rest of the butterfly to stick to the page so I use that powder tool just to take off that sticky so it doesn't stick where I don't want it to stick so yep I'm gonna use some of my glue here to add to the body of the butterfly so that will stick down and then I'm gonna use the Stampin' Up Dimensional adhesive to kind of pop those wings up a bit that is that and I'm actually not using any mist or any mixed media on this page which is a not too often that I do I usually use some kind of liquidish medium but this time I decided to keep it simple I had this big huge die cut in the back and I didn't think I needed to do a whole lot more with the layout I added that little label at the top now I'm looking to see if I want to add a little bit more so I'm going to take this little scallopy floral border that came on the sticker sheet and kind of tuck that under there under that phrase sticker again just to bring some more of that color up to the left and to balance off the whole layout I felt it was a little bottom heavy without having this cluster so that's why I added that I'm going to add some more twine up here to the top left where the little butterfly is and I'm just going to again use my glue this is scotch quick dry glue in my fine line bottle if anyone's interested I'm sure people have seen those fine liner bottles those are the best thing ever made for glue I highly recommend one if you have not seen it oh and sorry for my big fat head it was in the way while I was gluing that down so now I am thinking about if I want to do anything else and I was getting ready to show you guys oh I'm sorry I'm moving the camera around I was getting ready to show you guys and I thought oh my gosh I totally forgot to do a title and I want to add a little bit of dimension so I'm gonna add these pop dots to these corners here just to kind of lift off the corners on the page again with all that texture in the background I wanted the photos to be somewhat separated from that background so having those pop dots helps that a little bit and here is where I am adding in my title and it's gonna say my fair lady and that's a pretty fancy schmancy title for me because I am terrible at titles but for whatever reason this title spoke to me and I, I came up with it without really much thought which is amazing because that never happens normally it's like at the zoo at the dog park outside you know nothing exciting so my fair lady I thought was pretty good and I was thought was pretty clever and I was pretty proud of myself because like I said it's really a good day if I come up with a good title so now I added those October afternoon stickers there um, that came in the collection and then I'm also going to be using these October afternoon mini market stickers and I don't think these came in the kit they were just um, something that I had in my stash outside of this particular collection but it is still from October afternoon so it has that same feel October afternoon stuff is very like kind of creamy I think all of their stuff has that like kind of creamy vintage look to it and that's kind of why I like it and I 
find some of their kits, although I absolutely love everything that's October after noon, I find some of them a little hard to use because of the motifs, but this Woodland Park kit is absolutely fantastic and it just has kind of gardeny floral and it can be used for pretty much anything. So I'm going to top this all off with some Wink of Stella on a couple of these items in the die, cuts cl the die cut clusters. And while I'm doing that, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me. We love having you come over and join us on our Facebook page as well and, and join in the fun. And if you guys would like to scrap lift this page from Paige Evans as well, that would be awesome. I would love to see what you guys are doing. And if you would like to check out my channel, all of my social media links are below. My channel is Froggy251 and then pretty much all of my other social media is listed under the same name. So again, like I said, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. I hope it's beautiful where you are and you get a lot of sunshine and time to scrap. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the photos at the end. Bye-bye.